we're gonna have to take that again. <laughs> Taylor, how'd you sleep? <laughs> so good. In her cave. So EcoFlow recently launched a couple new amazing products and to test them out they sent us on a three day photo road trip. An absolute banger of a dream job. They gave us some gas money, a couple other new products, and told us we could go wherever we wanted. So given the time of year and only having 72 hours, we opted for the Eastern Sierras region of California and it did not disappoint. Except for that super bloom that Niles promised. Oh my gosh, is that the super bloom? Look at that super bloom, Taylor. Super bloom! Before we get into the travel, let me tell you about the first new EcoFlow product we had with us. This is Glacier. It's a portable refrigerator that runs completely off battery and even makes ice. Look at this ice. It looks awesome. Look at those Wait, little ice thumbs. They're so ice cute. Thumbs. You pop them off. <gasps> oh. Dude, engineers are so sick. This fridge is 38 liters, offers a dual temperature, dual zone cooling experience that is completely cordless. It can keep your food or your film cold for up to 40 hours while running off a 298 watt hour removable battery. It's an excellent choice if you enjoy camping, road tripping, or just want to make a nice coffee in the desert. There are worse things to experience than an iced coffee in the desert. All right, so day one. Our first destination for the night was Trona Pinnacles. This beautiful area of California desert is about three and a half hours northeast of Los Angeles and has these amazing spires that come out of the ground. We knew we would get in after sunset, so our main focus was shooting sunrise there in the morning. However, I've always wanted to try long exposure on film, so this was the perfect opportunity to test that out. Got the tripod, got a shutter release cable. Taylor died. It's just, err. Uh, Yes. So while Taylor was gaming, me and Niles ran around for about an hour and tried our hand at some long exposures. I'm gonna leave it just as a test. I've been in so much Niles was shooting digital on the Ricoh Whoa! GRX3. GRX3 is a little sick point and shoot. Kinda goes, dude. Well, I'm not super stoked on these results. It was still fun to get out and try, and it only gets better from here. Sunrise, baby, where the real photos are taken. What are you shooting? Pentax 645, that is not mine, and the T3. Film Portrait 800 in both. Thought it was gonna be soft for longer. So here we are. Should we move? So as Niles finished up his beauty shots and hung his camera on the rear view mirror, we made our way over to make some much needed breakfast before heading out to our next location. There you go, bro. Thanks, dude. Honestly, I'm fired up for my second. Oh. We continued driving and made our way over to Death Valley National Park. We hiked out on the Mesquite Flat sand dunes for sunset hoping to fire off some straight fire bangers. The other product we got to take on this trip with us that is new from EcoFlow is their Wave 2. This little beauty is a portable air conditioner and heater, and I can't believe how well it worked to keep us comfortable on this whole trip. Similar to the refrigerator, it runs on battery and requires no installation. It is a beautiful, self-contained unit, it's super portable, and kicks out 5100 BTUs of cooling or 6100 BTUs in heating with EcoFlow's tailor-made compressor. Simply turn it on, select your desired temperature, your fan speed, and within minutes, your RV, tent, van, tiny house, whatever it is, you're chillin'. It feels so good in here. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. You can get up to eight hours on a single swappable battery and with EcoFlow's ever-growing ecosystem, it's super simple to charge off another power station, solar, or AC. 
If you've never been to Alabama Hills, definitely put it on your list of places to go check out. It has these really cool rounded rock formations and killer views of the Sierras. It makes for a great place to go camping and explore, and tons of movies have been filmed here. It's definitely worth a short drive off Highway 395 to go scope it out. Now, no dream road trip is complete without eating breakfast at the local diner. Some hot coffee and way too much food is exactly what we needed to keep the spirits up. After we ate, we walked around the town of Lone Pine for a few minutes to let that greasy food digest and take in a bit of the local scene. All right, little post-breakfast walk around Lone Pine to get a couple photos, empty Ooh, out this like roll, that. and uh, yeah. Keep moving. I like these, these small towns are so easy to shoot. I wish we could so much that. stuff. His name was Terry. Yeah. Terry could walk out there. We needed to put in some hard miles on today's drive if we wanted to make it to our next destination for the evening. So we pointed Mini northbound with a goal of getting to some hot springs up in the Mammoth Lakes area for our last night. About an hour into the drive though, we saw a massive cloud of smoke and realized that a fire had just broke out near the town of Bishop. Our curiosity got the better of us and we wanted to capture some of the scene. It was actually pretty wild to have a front row view of a fire like this. Up above the city lights, all the Um, found it. Found well, the snow. The snow's here. Yeah. All right, we're at F16, sunny 16. We have made it up to Mammoth area and there's a ton of snow. Pretty sick spot for a road trip. We were trying to get to the hot springs like I mentioned, but um, not in the cards for this trip. They just got... <laughs> yeah, that was a real fall. There was definitely a ton of snow up in the area, which totally changed our plans for that last night. However, though, that's the beauty of a road trip. You can pivot. You're on wheels, and we decided to walk around on the snow for a bit, check out the scenery, but then head back down the highway to a little campground for a nice, mellow dinner. This trip had been pretty fast-paced for us so far, so it was great to just take an evening and not really shoot photos, but rather hang out and just enjoy the straight-up vibes. The next morning we cruised all the way back to return Mini. We shot a few photos here and there, we dumped out the nasty water, and we called it a trip. This was definitely an amazing road trip, and thank you to EcoFlow for making it happen. I hope it inspired you to one day get out and take a photo road trip with some of your friends. See you in the next one.